Welcome back to another video here on Free Wolf Photos. Today, I just was messing around and on one as I normally do to pass time. And I just came across this uh, cool little technique that I, I don't know, people probably have been doing this for a long time, but I just wanted to show you how you can achieve a unique look inside of on one. So as you can see, this gentleman here is surrounded by a blur. Now, that in itself, you know, maybe you are thinking like, yeah, I need to do this or no, I don't need to do this. So let me just show you really quickly how you can do this. Now, I'm going to hit the original here. And this is what the image looked like originally. I'm not going to show you the effects that I did because that really isn't a part of this particular effect. Instead, I'm just going to show you how to add this. So you'll go to add filter and you're going to add a blur and then you'll click on radial blur. Now there's a few ways that you can add this radial blur, um, which in the first way you can just grab your brush and you can paint this effect away from your subject. And that in itself is kind of cool, right? Or you can do what I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this particular thing, hit reset. And then I'm going to come up here and use the AI quick mask. And what I'd like to do is use a inverse. So I'm going to change this to paint out or drop. And then I'm just going to remove the effect from my subject here. This may not come out exactly like the um, the first image that I showed, but I just figured, you know, we'll try it out see what happens. All right. So we'll say all of that should stay as normal. And then I'm just going to make a larger brush and make some strokes outside of our subject, which I think this should work just like so. And then hit apply. And we'll let on one do its thing. It's going to think through masking and it got a pretty decent mask there. Let's see how well it did. And if it didn't do too good, then we'll just refine it. It's not a big deal. So it didn't do the greatest job over here. So all I got to do is go with the plus icon and I'm going to hit command R to get the perfect brush or I need to be on my actual masking brush because I was in the refining. So now I have my perfect brush and all I'm just going to do is paint this back in and I don't want this flow at 75. I want it at hundred. So that way I'm getting all of this and maybe I'll turn the perfect brush off. We'll just, we're just going to uh, freehand this a little bit. All right. We'll get it around here and then We'll even get this area right back over here because we really only wanted around the subject. All right. And we'll paint it away from his head. I think that should be good. And oh, put a little too much down here or took away too much from down here. And I'll even come right around here. All right. So now that we have our subject cut out for the most part, we're going to do the next step to this uh, and just get his hand here. It's a lot easier when you're doing this and you're not trying to explain it, but that is the life of making videos for YouTube, explaining while you create, but it's all good. All right. So I think that's fine and it's okay if it goes over his shoulder a little bit like that. I think that adds to the effect, but all you're going to do is feather this. So that way, you know, we get a pretty good blend between the um, effect and the subject. So there you go. That's what the mask looks like. Now to make this a little bit more believable, I guess you could say, 
is you can mess around with the smoothing so you know now it's a little bit more smooth but maybe not too much and then the other thing is the opacity pulling the opacity down to a point that makes sense like here looks like it makes the most sense uh, for this edit and you know it, it's just a nice little frame you know you're not worried about everything else that's going on maybe you are maybe you're not but in my opinion when i looked at this photo i said oh the interesting thing is this subject or or this guy uh so let me make him the most prominent thing now the next thing that you could do to really help this effect shine a little bit more is you can go to the tone enhancer and you can paste that mask back on there um, and then just decrease your exposure and then maybe pull up on the compression so that way it opens up those uh, shadowed areas a little bit and then you can even mess around with your shadows uh, and you know I'll pull down the black so now I got this really contrasty interesting look it didn't take too much time so hopefully you found that interesting until the next time I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating